This is N6QW, and I'm demonstrating here my latest uh, transceiver, which features bilateral circuitry and an Arduino-driven DDS. I'm going to go over the components of this uh, little radio here. Let me turn down the volume. Again, this is Pete, N6QW. And this right here is the Arduino-driven DDS right there. This is the BFO, uh, which uh, uses two crystals out of an FT-101 uh, early transceiver. This is the main board right here, which uses a, uh, the crystal filter out of an early FT-101. This is the S-meter driven circuit here, and you can see the S-meter right here moving back and forth. This is the display for the LCD. This is a 40-meter bandpass filter. And this is a single stage uh, 2N3904 RF amplifier. And right now we have it on 40 meters on CW. And uh, this uh, packs a terrific wallet. It's 40 meter CW and it's on 7.034. Okay, we're going to tune this up the band a bit. Quiet. You notice how quiet it is in the background? You can see the yes meter here. This is Pete, N6QW. This is my latest transceiver. The overall dimension of the transceiver is going to be uh, 4 by 6 by 8 8 inches deep. It'll be about uh, 2 watts, about 2 watts. N6QW. Make a little adjustment here on the S meter. This is N6QW demonstrating my new uh, bilateral driven uh, surface mount single sideband transceiver.
about. So I got a call from Todd, so uh, that was kind of a nice surprise. Oh, how's he doing? Is he retired yet? No, not yet, but he's getting there. Uh, he's doing pretty good, but he, what he called me about is uh, he's uh, inherited some radio equipment, and uh, he hasn't, he's not quite ready yet, but hopefully sometime soon he'll be 